Hey YouTube, cute little crow here. Okay, there's been no videos in quite a few months now, but I guess after losing Mizuki, I just really didn't feel like it. Um, anyway, I'm planning on getting back on track now. So I thought I'd start off by introducing you to the newest little furry edition. So it's not a hamster. It's first clue. Enjoy! This is Rupert. The guinea pig I adopted. I think he's a bit camera shy. He's using a bit of lettuce to coax him out. Um, he's about 18 months old. And I've had him for about two months now. Maybe three. Um, I know he's in quite a small cage really for a guinea pig. I'll just show you his whole cage. Um, but I am planning on getting him a CNC cage as soon as I can. Here, like, over in the UK it's really hard to source the materials so I've not been able to get him one yet. Um, but I have recently found a nice little company who provide you with everything to make one. So I think I'm going to use these. I also want to get my friend, so there'll be some introduction videos soon, hopefully. Um, come on. Come on. You're cheeky. He's quite a happy little guinea pig. Generally, he's not afraid to ask for food. He yeah, so he loves his romaine lettuce. Um, some dietary videos will be coming up soon the guinea pigs as well if that's something you're interested in. But obviously I still have Charles and China Snowflake so there'll be no lack of hamster related videos either. Um I thought I'd just do a little quick cage tour for him today. Um I'll put his lettuce in his bottle first. Try and coax him out. Okay. Try and show you what I can. Okay, in his uh well He's actually, his cage is a zoo zone too. Um, I don't know if any of you have been following my videos, but if you have, you'll remember that I got this for Charles, who then decided it was a good idea to try and nibble holes in it. You see here, this is what Charles did, so he only was in this cage for a week. Um, you didn't see any bowl. It's over here. It's over here. There we go, find it. Um, but inside his cage, you can see I'm using Felice's bedding, which has a puppy pad and three layers of towels underneath. Um, over here he has a he has a nice little wooden chewing block, which he if I show you this up close, you can see he really definitely likes it. He uses it a lot. I really recommend this. It was I think it was one ninety nine from Pets at Home and it's lasted him three months now and he's still got a lot of use left in it. Um, he then has Lofa which he keeps taking into his potty so it's quite dirty. He needs to be put in a hot water soon. <laughs> um, but this is just off eBay but he does actually really like chewing this. And over here by his food bowl, if he lets me get it, he has this tube which is it was a little book made out of um, Cornley. He had little pencils to go with it but he destroyed them within like a day. He really likes that, that was from Focus. Um, over here he has a kitten litter tray, which I'm trying to encourage him to use but I'm coming up with a few new ideas so I'll keep you guys updated on that if you're trying to litter tray your own guinea pig. Um, in his litter tray he has Biolet. Um, it's paper based. So it won't swell if he tries to eat it in his tummy. And the green things, I don't know if you can see them in his bowl, in his uh, litter tray, sorry, uh, string beans that he's decided to take them out, so I, I don't know. He's another choice. And here he just has some meadow hay, and this hay ball is from Wilco's as well. Um, I do want to get into Timothy hay, but the meadow hay was a gift from my nan, so I'm going to use that at first. He has this food bowl there. Um, and little rabbits and guinea pigs around it which is quite cute and in that I only feed him Burgess XL he's currently 
on the uh, oregano and blackcurrant ones, he's had the mint ones. He seems to prefer them a little bit, I think. They seem to overindulge in the mint ones. But if you see them, they look like tiny little hamster droppings. Which is quite odd. The other ones don't. I don't have any in to show you. Um, and then he has his nice little house, which um, my mum helped me make, which is really nice. But it's got foam in, so you know he's inside it there, but I'm not going to squish him. He can't like sit on it and squish it. And he has a nice little pad in there. If I turn him around, you'll be able to see it. There's a little pad in there which he's pushed right back again. And um, that's like a waterproof pad. It's got like towels at the top, like under the fleece, and then waterproof so it won't go through. So between his changes, because he likes to do a lot on his bed, I can just pull it out and change it over. Makes it a lot easier. And then where I put his letters before, if you saw that, it's a little treat bowl, which is actually a kitten bowl, but it works brilliantly for him. And other than that, he's just got his water bottle. It's not very exciting at the minute, but uh, it will be a lot more exciting when he has a CNC cage, I promise. Um, if there's any particular videos that you want me to do on guinea pig or hamster care, just comment below. So this is a video on meaty Rupert. So let me know what you guys think of them. And if you're also interested in guinea pigs as well as hamsters. <coughs> Alright. Bye.